Let's get right to the racing. With the newest wing of our garage now up and running, let's go meet our drivers for Group 6 of qualifying rounds for the 2022 Skyway Grand Prix. Taylor Zip driving in Ruby Slipper, a Porsche Taycan Turbo S weighing 32.3 grams. Jacqueline Strange driving in the Torpedo, a Fisker Karma Matchbox weighing 38.1 grams. Cyrus Crane driving in Electric Slide, a BMW i8 Roadster weighing 33 grams. And Tommy Wings driving in Blue Roses, a Tesla Roadster weighing 35.6 grams. And here they are, Group 6. Let's join them at the start gate for race one. Taylor Zip in the pole position, Jacqueline Strange on the outside, Tommy Wings and Cyrus Crane ready in the rear. And they're off. Zip and Strange lead the pack into turn one. Jacqueline Strange rockets ahead through the drop, way out ahead. Tommy Wings fighting to keep up with Zip through turn four. By a long shot, race one goes to Strange. And Tommy Wings squeaks past the finish, cutting ahead of Zip for third place. Let's see that again. Strange accelerating into the drop. Zip cuts in front of Wings. Now watch how Jacqueline Strange, with great control, rides the track like a slalom. Each turn is solid. Each exit is controlled. Now to the finish line. Watch as Tommy Wings, fighting the whole way down to best Zip, pops in front right in the final moments. Reminds me of Casey Space in Group 4, cutting ahead of Terrible in Race 3. If this is any indication, Group 6 is going to fight for it. Jacqueline Strange effortlessly takes first place, Cyrus Crane in second position, and Tommy Wings, right at the last moment, reaches for third. Now in front, let's see what Tommy Wings can do with nothing in his way. Tommy Wings wasting no time barging ahead down the drop into turn. He's a little out of control. He pops up on the outside wall. Out of turn three, okay, in control. And Tommy Wings takes race two. And who is that? Cyrus Crane and Taylor Zip in a distant second and third position. And I don't see Jacqueline Strange. That was unexpected. Let's take a closer look. Look at Tommy Wings. Now, this is a wild run. Rarely in control, hitting the outside wall, overcompensating, hitting the inside wall, which pops him up almost on the outer rim of turn three, similar to Jonas Fang in group four. Now, out of turn three, he seems to get his bearings in the final straight. And look at that. Cyrus Crane is in reverse. Let's find out how that happened. To do so, we have to head all the way back to turn two. Cyrus Crane, seeing that Tommy Wings has secured first position almost immediately, Crane throws one of the most severe blocks of the competition, completely vertical, stunting the momentum of Zip and Strange. It's a heavy gamble and it paid off. Crane takes second place and caused one of the most promising drivers to never reach the finish line, earning Strange zero points. Let's see where our drivers stand now. Tommy Wings shoots up to first position with seven points. Jacqueline Strange plummeting to third place from the top position. Cyrus Crane staying steady with two second place races. Always keep an eye on those who consistently take second place. It's a not so glamorous way to stay near the top of the leaderboard. And he's done it all from the back row. Now in front, let's see what Crane can do side by side with Tommy Wings. And they're off. Crane takes a quick lead. Strange staying close behind. Down the drop. Wing shoots the pass on the inside. Out of turn two. Crane blocks. Loose vertical. Now backwards out of turn three. Hot by Wings. Side by side with Strange. Strange pulls ahead the last straight taking race three. Crane had such a strong potential even entering the open lane track. Now watch as Wings swoops in finding an opening on the inside of Strange. But let's not forget the subtle mid-turn block by Crane appearing to move up the banking turn to ensure Strange has no way of overtaking on the high outside. Now coming out of turn two, it wasn't a sizable lead, but firmly in first position. So why does Crane decide that now is the best time to block? The block only becomes relevant into turn three as Crane shuts down Tommy Wings from passing on the high outside while still keeping Strange at bay. But this flips him around. Tommy Wings accelerates aggressively straight into Crane, popping him in the hood. Incidentally, this provides Crane with enough speed to stay side by side with Strange. It's only now in the final straight that Strange can smoothly pull ahead 
taking race three. Jacqueline Strange finding her way back to the top with another win. Cyrus Crane nipping at her heels, steady as he goes. Tied now with Tommy Wings, who's been quite mercurial throughout these races. Taylor Zip, unfortunately, is out of the running, but a beautiful car indeed. Strange now in pole position, Crane by her side. Crane has to keep up in order to have a fighting chance. The only other driver we've seen match Strange's speed is Tommy Wings, now in the rear. If he can break through and keep control, he could fly his way into the quarterfinals. And they're off. Strange and Crane neck and neck down the first straight. Strange shoots down the drop. Wings approaching. Crane throws a block. Strange's lead is growing out of turn three. It's all hers. Strange takes race four. Taylor Zip with a last minute block to Wings, cutting her way into second place. Let's see that again. In the final moments before the finish, Taylor Zip cuts in front of Tommy Wings. Retribution, I presume, from race one. Let's see that moment from race one. There it is. And back and back again. At least Zip was able to achieve her perfect payback. And there she is, your winner, Jacqueline Strange. Another Matchbox car moving on, we love to see it. The Fisker Karma, a fairly rare casting, showing up in a big way here at the Skyway. Hopefully her good karma stays plentiful as she joins the other drivers in the top 16 and prepares to advance on to the quarterfinals of the 2022 Skyway Grand Prix. Until next time, drive safely and always take the high road.